Hi everyone, in this video we will see about PCU factor, OD steady and level of service. PCU is passenger car unit. If you see on a road, different types of vehicles pass. Sometimes car passes, then two wheeler passes, then big trucks passes, sometimes bullock cart also go. So these vehicles are of different dimensions and speed. So you cannot represent them by vehicles per hour. It will give you a wrong picture because bullock cart will go very slowly and car will go very fast. So when you decide the capacity, if you say this many vehicles per hour, it depends on what vehicle went. So to convert all this vehicle into a single unit, we have passenger car unit. So each vehicle is converted to the size of a car. Suppose you say bike, two bikes can be represented by a car. So the PCU factor of bike is 0.5. So this PCU factor depends on vehicle dimension, speed of the vehicle which it can go and other factors but these two are the important factors. So based on this we have passenger car unit so the car PCU is 1 and for bike two bikes can be a car so it is 0.5. Bus and trucks are 3 you can imagine like Three cars can make a bus or a truck, so three. And bullock cart is six to eight, depending on the depending on the size of the bullock cart. Because the bullock cart goes very slow, the PCU factor is very high. So these are the typical PCU values used for calculations. Origin destination study. Suppose this is your home, A point, and this is your office. B point. So you go from home to office. So your origin is A and B is your destination. So if you do this for a city, point A, point B, point C, point D, point E, 100 people will go on from B to C and 20 people will go here, 5 people like this, 4 people like this. 10 people like this so on so you get to know the travel pattern by OD study this is represent OD study is represented by desire lines so if 100 people go from this point to this point the thickness is very high when compared to only 5 people going from here to here so graphically OD is represented by desire lines why do we need OD study? Based on OD study only you design bus stops, where to keep the bus stops and suppose you want to design a metro for this city. Here lot of people go, so you want to make a metro along this alignment. So for those things OD studies are used. Level of service. So before we have spe seen speed versus flow graph. So you saw that Q match that is Capac Q match is the capacity, it is attained at a optimal speed, V0. So at this point, the vehicles will go, go very freely. So you represent that by A. This little freely, you represent it by C. Similarly, D, E and F. At F, the vehicles are very jammed, like in a very jam-packed condition the level of service we can say it as F. So the highway capacity manual has decided six levels of service A to F to decide the quality of the road. So it is based on these things A, B, C, D and F which is depending on the flow and speed. Flow, if flow is suppose represented by volume V and capacity is C, so this is volume by capacity as volume by capacity ratio versus speed you will get A to F different levels of service. Thank you guys for watching the video. Before you leave I have a simple question for you. How is OD graphically represented? So you can answer by clicking the poll here. Once again thanks for watching the video. Subscribe our channel to keep watching more videos.